What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for joining in today. Today, I am responding to a comment that was on uh, a video that I posted a while back. Someone, I don't remember your name, so forgive me, but I'll have it posted inside here somewhere when I uh, when I upload this video. Um, they asked how to drop wave files in. So by the question, I understand that he or she is a beginner for the most part to the MPC software. They said that they're using the MPC uh, touch. So with them using the MPC touch, that means they're definitely using the MPC uh, software. Um, so the drag and drop method is just drag and drop your wave files but when i answered them they said that they thought it had something to do with um folders if you had just asked how to set up the folder path that was a you know a different question um so i thought i'd show that because i was trying to point them to the video in which i showed it in the past but i didn't name it like folder path or something like that so it's hard for me to find it so i'm sure it was hard for them to find it so with that much said let's get to it now my particular sounds where they're located varies from you as well as um our sounds will vary so what i the instructions that i'm about to give just follow the instructions not per se the name of the actual uh folder or sounds right so right here you can see that we have the folder path the directory is right here and above it we have folders one through folders five right so once you have that you want to go to your mpc of choice whichever mpc you own um go to the browser because with the next steps you can't use the mpc software by itself you have to use the uh you have to use the uh, MPC hardware unit in order to do it. So you want to select your folder. I'm just going to select any random folder. I'll use this ninth wonder wonder treats folder. You go into the actual folder once it's highlighted. You then press and hold down the shift button on your MPC, whichever MPC you own, and then you select the folder. I'm gonna select folder two, and it turns white on the MPC. And if I go to folder one, then now I go to folder two, you can see that I'm inside of here. And then you open up the actual folder and you, you drag and drop your sounds directly into the sample bank. Now I'm going to do that one more time just so I could go back to my original settings of my folder. I got to find that folder. Um, drum programs press and hold shift select the folder of which you want now when i go back to folder two it's selected for me now again these folders come preset like um five is your volumes or you know with whatever uh hard drives are selected on the on your computer setup uh four is users i didn't select these these were already selected three i made it my beats folder so i could always just go back to to a folder i got folders from 2014 in here i could just open it up and get right to work, you know what I mean? Two is my drum programs, the programs that I created myself and I 
it, it was a favorite program so I want to go back to it I could always go back to it and one I think I set this as uh, where my where all my sounds are located the majority of my sounds are so I'm able to just pull them in directly right so I hope this helped you um if you have any comments likes or concerns post it up in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you at my most earliest convenience and I might go back to a lot of the videos that I did way back when um that was you know surrounded around topics such as this like the folder path or the easiest way to select your sounds and things like this basically go back and redo them title them um appropriately so it's easily found in youtube search engine and as well as my channel itself you can just go in and type in folder path and the video will pop right up all right so do remember that music is life it is our dna keep banging peace love light till next time peace